myself assistant professor nikhil bosle computer science aml department from kdi college of engineering kolhapur today we are looking with the course of computer organization and digital logic and we are looking up with the unit 1 8085 and the lesson we are we will be covering up is uh, about the logic transfer instruction here again we will be understanding of how uh, the data is either transferred either from the register uh, or memory location pointer to the uh, memory and uh, again also to transfer the content from the memory to the microprocessor so the instruction we uh, before had seen was with regarding to that of uh, and or an xor operations where we were doing ana ani xra xri and similarly ora and ori here the other instructions we will be looking is about how to rotate the content from the accumulator to the carry and back to the accumulator okay so here ral is the instruction in which it is to uh, each uh, bit is rotated through the left side with the help of carry so here the carry bit all the bits are moved to the left side and the last bit is passed on to the carry and the carry bit is again passed to the zero bit okay so carry bit is modified because d7 bit is passed on to the carry bit of flag register and the example is ral all the other bits as szp auxiliary carry are not affected through the operation of ral similar as that of ral we are having the instruction as rar where we are rotating the contents of accumulator to the right side with the use of carry so here all the bits are rotated to the right side and the d0 bit is passed on to the carry and the carry bit is uh, value is passed to the d7 bit so here the cy that is a carry bit is modified all the other bits of the flag register are not modified through this operation the next operation we will be looking is r l c now in r l c in previous during the r a l we used to pass the carry bit value back to d 0 right but here the d 7 bit value is passed through d 0 and the d7 value is passed to carry okay so here you can see all the bits are passed to the left side and the d7 bit is passed to the carry along the d7 bit is passed to the d0 bit here again the cy bit is modified other bits like s z p a c are not modified through this operation similarly in r r c all the bits are rotated to the right side the d0 bit is passed to the carry and the d0 bit is also passed to the d7 bit now actual the use of uh, ral rrc operation is basically uh, to see whether the number is positive or negative in the flag register when the s bit is represented as 1 which means the value is negative right and uh, for example if the carry bit is generated okay uh, through the example of ones complement and twos complement for uh, the subtraction process at that the usage of ral rrc rlc and ras rar all those instructions of the rotate will be used to check whether the number is positive or negative to check whether the carry is generated during uh, the addition of two of the bits 
So uh, we will look up with uh, the examples in the later uh, part uh, of this program. Uh, yes. Now again, the other instruction uh, is compare, which is represented as CMP. Here, the accumulator content is compared is compared with either the register value content or the memory location value content. Okay. So, here uh, as we have seen, if the accumulator content is lesser than the register value content, CY is made as 1. If the accumulator content is equal to the register content, the CY is 0. And if the accumulator content is greater than register content, CY is equal to Z, 0. Okay. Sorry, here when the accumulator and register content uh, is same, the Z value is 0. Okay. So, basically when the accumulator and register, if the value is like 15 and 15 and we, when we make a subtraction of it, okay, then we will get the value of 0. Actually, the performance is like uh, when it is a and compare with r okay a compare with r then actually it makes a, a minus r operation okay so when a and r values are same during the comparison okay if it is phi and phi for example then during the subtraction process, we will get the value as 0. That is why z bit that is the 0 bit of the flag register becomes 1. In the previous operation, the cy will be 1 and the cy will be 0. Clear? So, okay, uh, we had seen uh, either the comparison of the accumulator will be done either uh, with the uh, with register or it will be done with the memory location pointer content okay so here we have seen either the content from the register or uh, from the memory location pointer content will be compared with the accumulator and both the contents are preserved here the flag register or PW, uh, PSW uh, register will be made, uh, will be changed through this operation. Similarly, as that of compare, we are having the instruction named as CPI. Now, through previous instruction as MVI, LXI, uh, ANI, ORI, XRI, we have came to know that I represents that either the 8-bit value, immediate value is going to come, right? So, what does CPI means? CPI means to compare the accumulator content with the immediate value content of 8-bit, right? So, if I write it as CPI 84H, that means the accumulator content is compared with 84 and we will come to know whether the value is or the accumulator value is greater than uh, 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 immediate value or accumulator value is less than the immediate value and all that comparison will come to know with the help of carry and set flags. For example, if the value of CY is 1, okay, that means the accumulator value is lesser, uh, is greater than the register value. If Z value is 1, that means the accumulator and the immediate value content are same okay and when c y is equal to 0 and that means the accumulator content value is lesser than the immediate value content similarly uh, we have seen with the cpi okay where the accumulator content when it is lesser the c y is set as 1 when accumulator and data value is same the z value is equal to 1 when accumulator value is greater than the data value content then the uh, then the carry and zero flags are reset. Next is CMA. CMA is to complement the contents of the 
accumulator. Here, uh, if the content of the accumulator is 1011011, 8, this is the 8 bit. And if I pass on the instruction as CMA, which is to complement the accumulator value content, complement means the value of 1 becomes 0 and the value of 0 becomes 1. So, here the value becomes as 01001001. So, this is about the CMA instruction. Next is about CMC. CMC is to complement the carry bit of the flag register. That is, if the carry flag value is 1 and when I make the operation as CMC, then the carry flag value becomes 0. Similarly, we are having the instruction as STC where it is to set the carry value. So, if the value of carry is either 0 or 1 and when I pass the instruction as STC, then the value of CY becomes 1. Okay. So, this is about uh, the logical operations that we have studied. Now, in the next video, we will be looking up about the stack operations. Thank you very much.